I hate turkey. I hate mashed potatoes. I hate. Uh, good afternoon. Sorry, good evening, and welcome to Fate of the Dice's Curse of Strad. Uh, tonight we have Ashesless, Christina, Camille, uh, Jake, and oh, there we go, and uh, and Eileen. Uh, who wants to go over what happened last time? I will. <clears throat> so, after meeting with Count Strahd and learning of Christina's backstory a little more, we traveled to the town of Valaki, where we learned that the current Burgomaster is currently persecuting anyone who he views to be melancholic. And so we are working to politically try and return power to the former Burgomaster and the rightful heirs. I think that covers just about everything. Um, yeah. The other thing was that um, shortly before we left, uh, I believe uh, Jake had gone to, to the church um, where on the... Um, well, it was on his way to the church um, when he he met uh, um, you know a boy who said his name was uh, Victor Valakovic, um, who uh, needed help um, recovering a soul, and uh, I think that was where we we left off last time. So I think that would be an, uh, an appropriate place to, to pick up with, um, you know, Jake, uh, you know, having been, uh, you know, interrupted uh, on his way to the church um, by, by a boy who's, who's saying, uh, I, I hope you can help me. I'm trying to free a soul. Bringing souls is something of what I do. It's um, it's it's difficult to explain out here. Uh, 
would you mind uh, uh, coming with me? Um, y- yes, I would, but a uh, moment, please. Um, and <laughs> Jade is definitely going to go and try and get the see if the crew wants to join in on this. Uh, Victor will wait outside the inn whilst uh, you go sort that. The rest of us just waiting to commit arson. Mm. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's cool. Just checking. <laughs> yeah, this is done. Hmm. No worries. So, are you uh, speaking to to the others about what you've been told? Yes, definitely. I mean, do you want me to repeat it? I, I can't. You know. Yeah, really pass me one more time. I'm just going to go and kind of try and circle our guys up with them and, and just say to them, look, if someone is outside and asked me to, to help them with uh, recovering someone's soul, and I just want to know that you want to um, possibly help in this situation. Who's of course, I, I would do this whole thing because of, well, I'm... You know, I'm religiously, religiously, religiously connected to helping people with their souls and passing on to the next life, but I did not want to impart my beliefs onto anyone else because that is, is not what I do. Oh, that's cool. Who's soul? Uh, right. You know who the soul belongs to? Actually, that's a good question. I. How's about we all just go downstairs and just ask, or maybe we invite the other person up and meet in the middle. What would you prefer? Well, Victor got picked on last time he was in the pub, so maybe we should meet him outside. Yeah. Especially yeah, as it might be that. quieter out there as well. Might be yes, a good then. idea. Would I be over my drunkenness by then? <laughs> I imagine uh, so, because it took me an hour to pass, or I guess very familiar, and you, I don't think you were drinking through the whole time. Did you go for a nap? I don't, I don't, I don't think I've had a nap. <laughs> Jake, you have lesser restoration. <laughs> So I could still want to take you mm. Yeah, that's how you were spending the time when... <laughs> I was drunk, but I was saying, well, yeah, Strad's great, except I'm wee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you carried on drinking... Then yeah, you'll still be drunk. <coughs> I don't think I can you don't drink and drunk. I don't think I don't. Hmm. Where's the alcohol? No well I mean if you if you stop drinking the, then you you will have had some time to uh to recover, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, if you if you have been drinking, then you you will still be drunk. Hmm. I tell you off with your full name to go and lie down for a bit. What do you know, my character's full name? Christina Elizabeth Isabella Jane Perry. <laughs> Don't put your head down. <laughs> yes, Ash. <laughs> Go and have a sleep. <laughs> I'm not tired. <laughs> 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 I 
You are tired. Don't make me intimidate you to interview going to sleep for an hour. <laughs> you are tired. Go lay down. All right, fine. <laughs> Try and intimidate Christina to go and have a nap. Oh dear, could have done better than that. <laughs> Can I roll Especially with a plus seven. Like, you can't think of a, um, a will save. Huh? A will save or a Christmas save? I don't know. Jack? That'd be up to Jack. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, I think, you know, what we would normally do for this is either just set, like, a flat DC, depend on, depending on how uncooperative you'd want to be. Uh, but it would definitely be... The, the active check would definitely be like intimidation or, or persuasion, depending on your approach. Uh, but it would either be like a flat DC of something like 15, or we'd, do, or we'd use like a passive, like 10 plus wisdom or something. Do 10 plus wisdom. <laughs> 10 plus wisdom? Uh, my wisdom's first 13 with a plus one modifier. Because mm -hmm. yeah. while oh, charisma it? does yeah. represent oh, a I certain know. amount of will, it's usually <laughs> a will to not get banished. Yeah. Either way, you don't have to have a go and have a nap. <laughs> okay. So, so is the deal that Christina's napping and then... You know, some other people are going to be heading with Victor. Oh, if I don't want to nap. <laughs> you will nap! I don't want to. Make me. I've tried to tell it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm... I'm being direct. <laughs> I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna go with Victor. If it's arcane and source, I might be able to do something about it. Okay. So, Camille's going, Jake's going, Ashesless? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going. I tried to convince Christine to go for a nap, but she wasn't having it, so, yeah. No worries. And how about Diane and, of course, Christina herself? Only go with them. <laughs> How's Diane feeling? <clears throat> uh, I think I'll go with everyone since I technically owe them. No worries. Uh, okay, so everyone's heading out. That's fine. Yeah, so so Victor's outside where you where we left him. Um. So we uh. He's you know you know he he says that thanks for thanks for coming. Um, I think it will make more sense if you can see what's happening. And um. Unless there's anything you want to ask him, he'll lead you back to the uh, the Baron's Manor. Hmm. I don't have any questions as of yet. Um, were we going to ask him who the soul was before we get back there? Wasn't that like a big question? Oh, yeah, I suppose we should ask that. Whose soul exactly are we saving here? It's, um, it's a friend of mine. Uh, her, her name is uh, uh, Stella Vector. Name's in the roll 20. Wait. Vector. Uh Hold up, we have we heard that name somewhere. You mm. have heard one of the previous Burgomasters. You you, you have heard the surname Vacta, um, belonging to uh, Lady Fiona Vacta. So it'll probably be a good idea to get her freed.
I mean, it, it can't it can't hurt really, can it? Jake, you're the expert on this. Does freeing a soul ever result in that soul suddenly becoming really horrible and trying to murder everybody? Well, well yes and no. <laughs> that's the I'm sort of decisive attitude I like. <laughs> I hate to give the answer, but that's actually the truth. But here's, here's what it is. We sit down and uh, mm. let me see if I can try this without a chalkboard. Um, I'm using yeah. Here it is. Um, when, when a soul actually passes on, and, and it does tend to linger, it may require certain ceremonies, ones that I can actually perform to actually, you know, get the soul to pass on properly to its next proper state. Um, but if it, you know, it doesn't linger without proper sending or pro proper uh, mm, uh, religious, religious affairs, then it can linger back and become something twisted and much worse. Anything ranging from a uh, gas into a um, revenant. Would be difficult to leave it unchecked. Of course, it's going to be difficult. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, I just have to be honest with you. It's, it's, this is these are affairs that you know. Well, people might deal with a lot, especially when they're you know in the service of Ozrin. So, it's something I history with but have i done it before no but still i'm pretty sure i'm very confident that i can you know perform such a necessary ritual so just putting this out here can we without victor hearing fill in jake on sort of what happened last time with sort of our plan to burn the baron's house down and say will we not maybe be better waiting to do this, tell Victor we're definitely going to do it, but we'll do it after the Festival of the Burning Sun. Might not be a good idea because of the soul is damned. If we do plan on burning down the Baron's house to make sure that there isn't anything left behind, the soul could be destroyed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see that's a good point. Although I could ask Lanaventa to nick it before she sets fire to the place. But then we'd still have to go in to figure out what we're looking for specifically. Yeah, true. Fair enough. Let's just go get it done. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to just get it done now. Yeah. Uh, also, a uh, question for Jamie. Would I actually have a... Oh, I, I do have this, the spell for some reason performed here, but would I be able to do some uh, Cody Fingers ghost busting? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, as you said, the, the soul needs to be put to rest here, which is something that I'm definitely... is in my wheelhouse, but I'm wondering if there's anything I would need to be able to ensure that, you know, we can put the soul to rest properly. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so it, it, it sort of depends on the condition of the soul. So it's one of these. If it is, um, you know, if, 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 if it is just like, like an undead, then, you know, mm -hmm. smiting its form will usually force it to dissipate. Um, and if it, you know, some, some, you know, some spirits do come back, it, uh, it would, you know, it, it would depend on the circumstances. Um, Yeah, uh, it's it's one of these. At the moment, uh, the you, you know uh, Jake doesn't really have enough information uh, to 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 make a proper assessment. Uh, but you know, Victor's offered to to show him more. Okay, I definitely want to uh, interrogate. To me, I mean, uh, question Victor. Okay, so um, what do people want to be doing before head? Is it so anything people want to be doing before heading to the manor? Uh, not to do the soul thing. I don't have anything I want to do. No. I need to do something. Just want to go and see if that guy will show us what he can do with his hat. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have a confession to make, as Diane. Is 
this as well. Yeah, I have a confession to make as the, the end. Uh, I need to stock up on my drugs. Huh? I'm a drug addict. Oh. That's not good. Not in real life. I mean, as the end. I wasn't real life that you ever had me. <laughs> I mean, I could suppose you could go off and do that. I don't know if, uh, uh, wherever we are, do we have, actually have anything I can, any stores I can buy the junk from? Um. You haven't really found anywhere that would um, that would deal in narcotics. Um, you know, there's there's alcohol, plenty of it, <laughs> but um, yeah, there's um, but yeah, not much in the uh, in the way of. In the way of drugs. I mean, it's a good thing for now because I have played this character before. I remade her, and uh, my character called High during a zombie horde. Hmm. A beast, piggyback, please. <laughs> no worries. So it looks like yeah, we'll uh, head to the to the manor. So you're able to approach the the manor and have no difficulty with the guards because of course Victor's with you. Uh, as you get to the door, uh, he will say, um, uh, "We'll need to be quiet. My uh, my father's meeting someone at the moment, um, and if I show you, uh, I'll, I'll just show you the ground floor, you know, very briefly, um, because he's leading you up this flight of stairs here." Alrighty. Okay, and then uh, he'll take you up a flight of stairs, then through some rooms on the um, on the first floor. Um, entering um, a room, he'll then pull a ladder down. Jack. Yeah. Before we go upstairs, just for the laws, can I do some sort of roll to go upstairs because I'm drunk? Oh, I thought you were getting upsies from someone. No one said they were giving me upsies. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not yes, strong enough to give you options. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I suppose. Is, be, I then I suppose the difficulties from that would be upsies. Would be uh, represented with a uh, dexterity save. Yeah. Best call the event could just lean out and go, "You ain't seen me, Royce." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 16, yeah. So, yeah, you shouldn't have, uh, have any, uh, you, you know, you, you have a little stumble, but uh, not enough to uh, to cause noise. Um, yeah. And so, uh, with that, you are able to uh, to make it uh, up. Probably some more difficulties with the trap door, actually. But <laughs> no, uh, with the trap door and the ladder. But th there we go. Um... And then, yeah. So uh, Victor will take you up to uh, you know to a room uh, where you can see that uh, you know there's there's like a, you know, a table and a, uh, and a chair, and then they'll uh, take you through uh, to a wider attic space. Um, where uh, you can see, uh, yeah, you can see that there's just decades of junk. You know, some of this stuff will probably, uh, you know, um, will probably have been there before the uh, Velakovich has moved in. Um, and then, coming to uh, a door on the far right, uh, Victor will uh, give a give a command word, uh, at which point the uh, the door opens. Inside, uh, you can see a a rather messy room. There's a couple of deck, uh, a couple of desks piled with uh, papers, and um, you know that that seem to be uh, that seem to be about 
Doctor Arcane spells. In the corner of the room, you can see um, a skeleton cat. Like, you know, like the animated skeleton of a cat, uh, you know, walking around. And uh, in uh, on one wall, about here, um, you can see uh, you can see a mirror uh, that's been placed up. Uh, as Victor gives a wave to it, uh, you can see that uh, there is no reflection waving back, uh, but instead uh, there is uh, a girl about Victor's age, and she uh, smiles and waves back. As he, uh, as he turns to you, he said, whilst making some movement with his hands as if signing the words, uh, he says, uh, uh, this is, uh, this is Stella, and, uh, and, uh, these are the, uh, uh, the people I've asked. He, uh, turns to you, uh, is there anything you can do to get her out? Can I come over and look at these papers, see if there's anything in there that might give me a hint? Uh, certainly. Uh, can you make an what? Arcana check, please? Arcana. Also, I'd like to know if uh, my eyes are great picked up or anything. Ah, okay. So, so there are no undead within 60 feet. Uh, the thing that is unusual is you've got um, this reflection trapped in, in the mirror. Um... Stella doesn't strictly register as an undead. So the eyes of the grave would not pick uh, would not pick that up. Okay, uh, and this is for Camille. So he's he's had a go, uh, uh, you know, looking over it, and uh, you can see that you know a lot of the writings are about um, a teleportation circle. Hmm. You can um, you can also see that on top of the deck, uh, on top of the desk, uh, there is uh, you know something that looks like a spell book, uh, you know underneath uh, a pile of the papers, and um, something about it seems magical. I'll definitely hand it over to our resident wi- wizard and ask. Does this seem interesting to you? Absolutely, I'm going to start flipping through the spell book. Okay, no worries. Um, so yeah, you can tell that this is a, you know, a magical spell book and it, it does have, um, you know, the, the, the details of, uh, of a fair number of, uh, teleportation spells. Um, you know, as you look through it, Victor said, uh, Estella found it in a, in a tower out west. We were trying to make a teleportation circle. He points to the uh, to the carpet and you can see there's a ring of chalk dust around the outside. But uh, I think we got it wrong. When she tried to use it, she ended up in the mirror. Mm. Or um, part of her did. Her, her body's with her mother at the moment. Mm -hmm. Does the book outline any consequences for making mistakes in the magic circle? So the, um... The, uh... So the the book does clearly state um, that the teleportation circle has to be done perfectly. Um, or, or else, um, you know, or, or else the, uh, the body and soul, uh, may not travel together. Um. Mm-hmm. This is a pickle. Is the mirror expressly magical, or is her soul just trapped inside of it? The, the mirror is mundane. 
Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything magical about it. Uh, uh, Victor, well, as you examine the mirror, Victor would say to you, uh, uh, she says that she uh, has been able to, uh, you know, she has been able to um, to leave the mirror and can see some parts of Valaki, but not very well. She says this room is the only thing she can see properly, and so she spends most of her time. Uh, in the mirror, where I can see her. I'm glad you can see her too. Can I turn to her and just ask if she can hear what we're saying? Or does she have to speak expressly through sign language? So, um, if, if you, um... If you speak, uh, she will give no reply, and Victor will explain that they've been having to communicate through sign. Ask her if she recognizes anything specific outside of the mirror, or if it's too blurry to notice anything. So, um, you know, Victor, Victor will sign that, and, uh, and after a time, uh, you, you know, uh, there'll, there'll be a reply, and she says, uh, uh, "She, uh, she, she can't. Uh, sometimes when she tries to uh, leave Valaki, uh, she, uh, she feels a dread presence." She thinks that there might be something in the mirror with her. Was there anything you could recognize about the being? She uh, she shudders and signs a reply, and, and Victor tells you, um, it, uh, it looked like a, a, a skull surrounded by uh, dozens of crawling hands. Jake, sound familiar to you? Familiar? Actually, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask if that sound familiar to me. Pun? Does that sound familiar to me at all? Uh, it does. Can you make me a religion check, please? An 11? Okay, uh, an 11. So, um, this does sound, you know, familiar to you, um, you know, as, as being, you know, some kind of undead. Uh, it wouldn't, you, you won't be able to pick it up with your eyes of the grave unless it appeared in the mirror. Or, or I guess if you went into the mirror, um, but uh, yeah, this this definitely sounds uh, you know sounds like an undead, uh, and and the fact that it just seems to be this uh, you know this the skull, uh, you know with the grasping hands, um, you know that that sounds like um, that sounds like it would be the work of a of a gallows speaker. Uh, one that arises from places of mass death. Um, you don't know much about them, other than you know occasionally they uh, they haunt the sites of death. Actually, I'm going to ask Rick that. Uh, has there been a, any place where there's a, a mass a place of mass death, of people slaughtering like that? Wait. Didn't Strahd send us to investigate some kind of tomb southern or south of Velaki? Do you think maybe that's where it could have come from? Hmm. That sounds like it makes sense to me, unfortunately. Collection of dead and uh, souls and people being un unable to move on. That sounds very much like it. Yeah, he, he yeah, he definitely did say that. 
I'm gonna ask Victor to ask Stella if she noticed any like crypt or if any of the areas looked like a crypt or a tomb that she could tell. Um the um uh, she she shakes her head. Uh, uh, she does find that she didn't go very far, um, but uh, when they seem to be coming, uh, they seem to be coming from the uh, the southwest. She uh, she signs. Uh, uh, I think it's from. She signs. Uh, I think it's from where the elves live. Where the elves live. Interesting. So, One option is obviously to try to replicate what happened and go in there, try to fight off whatever's in there, but that should be a last resort. Yeah, it might make the mirror safe, but then you'd be stuck there if you don't have a yeah, way yeah. out. Yeah, there's no guarantee we'd have a way out. Otherwise, we could try to figure out where this being is coming from and investigate there. We could try to get in contact with Strahd, see if he knows anything. Maybe Rahadin would know something. But, as it is, there is... I don't think there is much we can do right now, just except to make sure that Stella's body stays safe. Hmm. Is it fairly easy to carry this mirror? Uh, it's like a, one of those full length mirrors. So in that case, it might be best to bring her to the house where her body is being stored just so that they aren't super separated. Uh, do, does the Baron know anything about the soul being trapped in here? It's Victor. Victor shakes his head. I, uh... I, I, I can't tell my my parents about this. They, um, the reason why? They, they despise magic. So if you were to say you'd either given or sold us the mirror, and we were to take it back to the tavern, they wouldn't have a problem with it? No. I, uh, I, I took the mirror from a, a side room in my parents' room. After I saw the uh, the soul appear there, or the soul Stella appear there, I um, can't let my parents know about this, and uh, I I can't tell Lady Vector either. If uh, the moment I think she thinks her daughter's uh, ill, if uh, if she knew her her soul was in a mirror. She, um, and, and, well, for starters, she'd tell my parents. Um, so, yeah, maybe smuggle the mirror out of here? Yeah, probably our safest bet. Mm. You read? Just give give Victor a gold piece, so it looks like he's like if anyone asks, he can see he's sold the mirror. Yeah, not for a lot of money, but 
I think that's is it, is it worth more than that. I was going to say that's that, that's a good that's a good amount for like a standard error. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just chuckle brothers the thing out of it. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> to me. To me. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Wrong crowd. <laughs> On our or when we but, leave, I'm just going to gather up all the papers so I can continue continue study them. Mm. All were like out and about to see if I can figure anything out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Victor will let you take the papers. He won't let you take take the spell book. Oh, that's fair. Let me to try and convince him to let you take the spell book. <laughs> I... Sure, I'll place your hand on your shoulder and give you some guidance. Hmm. In, if, hmm. there would, if, if it can possibly help us through this the spell book, can you, hmm. can you please take me? Yeah. He, um... You, you, you know, I mean, you, you can you can certainly try and per persuade him, uh, but that that, that that is what would uh, be required. Victor, my my student really needs that spell book. Can you not see how ill-educated Kamir is? He's really going to need that. I don't this. <laughs> you see, you like that angry eyebrow twitch when you say that. <laughs> You're always thinking it was over. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I am going to try and persuade him. I'm going to ask you to roll for the persuasion. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then just be safe. Four, four. Guidance. For a total of 27. Uh, okay. So, I mean, so you, you are able to make a strong case that it could be useful to, to, to help with your, your, your with, you know, with the research. And, um, you, you know, after you know some persuading, he will hand it over. Um, you know, uh, he did tell you what, what, where we um, where we got it, um, but yeah, you know, I'll I'll just elaborate again as he hands it over. He he said that uh, Stella found it in a, in an old tower uh, to the west of Valaki. Um, she described it as the Dancing Man Tower. That have been that one tower we investigated, but then we got attacked by the undead. Oh, that was southeast, or maybe just south south by southeast. It was I mean, it's quite far south and somewhat east. Uh, they they won't be the same tower. The dancing man tower is still standing. The running man tower has been taken down by an MC Hammer. <laughs> All right, well, let's get the mirror out of here, and then we'll plan the situation with the Baron, and then we will get to work on heading to that tower, to either Dancing Man Tower or to the tomb. No worries. So what's your plan for concealing the full-length mirror? Uh... We just put a cloth. I think we just blag it. We just carry it out there, and then if anyone asks us, just go. It was junk, and he sold it to us. Uh, can I examine this mirror one more time, please? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, Jake. <laughs> yeah, I just want to uh, examine this mirror a little bit more. Uh, and this time I'd like to, you know, just to really uh, get in, you know, in this thing. I want to uh, cast uh, Detect Evil and Good as well. Uh, okay, Detect Evil and Good. So the um, the mirror is just uh, an ordinary mirror. Um, and you can't detect any of those. Oh, hang 
I do. Sorry, there is actually one undead within 30 feet of you. The skeletal cat registers as an undead. Yeah, your eyes of the grave would, should also pick that up. But yes, the skeleton cat is, is an undead. Um, but no one else is... Um, the mirror has neither been consecrated nor desecrated. So it seems to me this mirror is something of a port is not necessarily a portal, just a, pretty much a window. Does that sound correct? Um, yes. Into some kind of nether realm. Definitely re relay that on to everyone else, but also I'm going to point at the cat and say, are you going to do something about that? Um, as you say that, um, Victor will, will stand between uh, you and the cat and say, don't, don't harm Miska. He, uh, he won't do you any harm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he seems pretty harmless. And mm. then, even with how common the undead are in the area, just a cat doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's... It needs to move on. Leave the cat alone. Cat's fine. <laughs> it's not just a cat that I'm worried about. It. To be continued. <laughs> and... You know... Jay's gonna look at you like, what's wrong with you? And just walk out of the room. <laughs> uh, okay. Is there anything anyone else wants to do before heading down? I wanted to offer help at uh, carrying the mirror because I'm strong <laughs> enough. We're wrapping the, 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 the mirror in the bear skin. I'm going to, like, put it over my head and go, rawr, I'm a bear. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Don't trust me with the mirror. Why? Question, is Nikki still drunk? Or Christina? Yes. Yes. Uh, Christina's um, still drunk. Is there a lake near us? We can just dump her in the lake and she'll sober up. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, little ways out of it's town. a mile or two north of the city, of the, the city, the town. We should take Christina to the lake before we proceed. Or I can knock her out and carry her all the way back. Well, if you want to do that, uh, Drake and I can grab the mirror. Snake is on duty of just keeping us out of trouble. Uh, so, Christine, what would you like? The lake, or do you want me to put you to sleep? <laughs> there are the only two options you have. You can't choose a loophole. <laughs> In addition to do something really silly. <laughs> what did you have in mind? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn <laughs> well shit into a squirrel and bury myself up after I should sleep. <laughs> Does Astrislus make an attempt to prevent the burrowing? No. <laughs> well, what was she doing again? I watched it into, into a squirrel and I buried myself under Ash's ashes sleeve. <laughs> okay, you really don't want to do that. Hmm. If I have to turn into my hybrid form, uh, uh, and use either strength or dex, I will do it. <laughs> I just did it. Nope, you're fine where you are. <laughs> we have so you to know, I, do not, I do not have uh, <laughs> calm emotions prepared, so you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I have an axe. 
Well, if I just want to be a squirrel and not have a squirrel nut. Yeah, uh, just get the mirror and get out of there. Go on, shoot. I just hope I won't tickle you. <laughs> you... <laughs> no worries. So, as you, as you head down, um, just as you're on the stairwell, um, uh, you know, heading to the, to the ground floor, you can see a door open downstairs. So you'd all be, like, up here. I'm not there. I've disappeared. Oh, it's because you went there last session. Um, but yeah, you can hear a, a door open downstairs. And, uh, you, you know, you can hear the uh, uh, the Burgomaster's voice uh, in a sort of, uh, you know, uh, wishing her well on her travels. And, um, you know, you, you can uh, you can see, uh, you know, you'll be able to see her walk past. Um you can see uh, an old woman uh, carrying uh, carrying a basket with something that smells uh, smells very sweet. It's um, it smells of some kind of pastry, like uh, like a pie. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, unless you want to speak to her, she'll uh, head out. No, Squirrel Christina. You're not going for the pie. Squeak. You need the pie. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not get too rash. Uh, you said there was there's a pie here. So. What kind of pie? Is it apple Just... pie, blueberry pie, red <laughs> berry pie? Leave the pie. The pie is not <laughs> important. Somebody else is going to eat the pie. We'll get you some pie back at the pub. She could be oh, going to the pub. We could be able to eat that pie back at the pub, but we're not mugging an old lady for pie. I mean, it's not muggy if you ask nicely, so I think that like, really? we should not be too rash. I mean, I, I, I honestly haven't had some <clears throat> delectable, some pastry in some time, and I'd like to maybe see if we can I'm just sample just some. slowly popping out my little squirrel head out of the ash of the sleeve. <laughs> uh, I wanna, I'm going to ask the lady, what kind of pie is it? I can smell pie. What kind of pie is it? Mm-hmm. So, um, she will uh, she will bend down to you uh, and say uh, it's uh, it's my specialty it's a uh, it's a minced meat pie oh can I have some yeah she um you know she'll reveal um you know, she, she'll uh, remove the, the covering uh, and reveal like an assortment of like little pies about actually about the size of like the mince pies that you, you'll be able to get in a month's time and we won't be mentioning before then um <laughs> but um <laughs> yeah <laughs> not until after the 22nd <laughs> exactly <laughs> but um that is what they look like um is is jake coming down oh jake's oh, no, already jake down there because he's, he's heard you know pie and you definitely want to go find out about that but then hearing his mince meat pie Definitely would ask to either. Bro, in, in, can I get insight on her, or should I inspect the pie? Oh, it's um as soon as you come down the stairs, and she is like not being um, and she's like not being blocked by um, you know, by the floor. Um, mm-hmm. your uh, detect evil and good, which should still be up. Um, re- reveals that. Uh, that this is a fiend. Oh. Uh, I instantly step between to, and say, please step away from the pie. But I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm sure you are, but trust me, th- th- these are not the pies you are looking for. Mm. These are not the pies you are looking for. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it poisoned? Is it, I, is it tainted or anything? Because I really um, I th- don't want to be sick. I think it's you yes, the pie. <laughs> we have this discussion with this outside, if you will. Mm. And I kind of insist that we discuss this somewhere else. Mm. We could go into that room. <laughs> the, the lady looks, looks confused. I uh, I promise you that, uh, that, you know, that these are good pies. Homemade I, they are. I 
You're not one of those vegetarians, are you? Dick wants to look at her in the eye and be like, you know, ma'am, your hospitality is gratefully appreciated, but we will, we, me and my friends must decline such an offer as this. I mean, it's not really a, a deal breaker for us to do that, I'm sure. So I think it's best if we stay on good terms and leave amicably. Yes? And she nods very well. And uh, with that, she uh, she leaves. <laughs> Let the pie lady go. <laughs> Leave the pie lady alone. Well, let's get those. Let's get this mirror out where we need to get it to be. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So um, you're able to uh, to do just that. So you're able to um, you know you're, you're able to, to, to leave and uh, head back into uh, back into town. I would definitely like to explain that once we're outside of earshot that the whole thing of that lady being a fiend and those meat pies were not any, probably not any meat that you want to eat. Maybe it was human meat. Maybe it's the household. She did say it was homemade. Yes, but not homemade of what? A lot of things can be made at home. Oh, I don't just want I'm, I'm not human. <laughs> You're not. I'm a half elf. Well, I too have a, what someone called mixed blood, but some things you should not consume to, to remove you of your. The better parts of your humanity. Can you agree with that? I think I can. I I rather stay the same because if I eat human meat and then end up liking it, I may end up being a cannibal, and I don't think that is a good thing. And that you and I can both agree. And anyway, <clears throat> so let us. What's, what's the, the term that children, kids like to say? Let's press on? Yes, let's press on. It should be getting dark by the time you head out. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get back to the tavern. We have a plan to plan. We do. Can you remind me how many days it was until the Burning Sun Festival? Three days. Three days. Yeah, it was three when we first arrived. Mm. So, should be two now. <laughs> We're out the door. Sorry, Glad Venter. You've got like two days to, to wait there immobile and just be quiet. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm going to say uh, you're definitely sure that it's the woman who was pinging Fiend and not Glad Venter. Oh! Well, Glad Aventa would also ping as a fiend. She would, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to set fire to the house anyway, so hopefully, if all her if all her servants are fiends, then we don't really need to worry about. Um... Oh, what's the word for it? When you kill a whole bunch of civilians instead of. Yeah, yeah friend, if you're talking about collateral damage, here's two things yes, about that. Yes, collateral damage. Yeah. These are known to being resistant to fire, of course. And two, um, even with this at the place on fire, we, we, at worst, we, what's the word, pissing them off instead? So I think it's good to actually went inside and actually got a view of what we're dealing with before actually proceeding further. Now we know exactly what we must do. I was kind of hoping one of you would step in on that and tell us exactly what we must do because I'm still kind of cogitating things. What we're going to kill the Baron. Yeah, we're, we're going to burn the place down and kill the Baron. Very well. And then we'll be able to find out what's going on with this mirror in this other dimension. We're not making a smart choice. We're making a cinematography choice. <laughs> Jake, the cinematography would be 
me putting a flame token over the building. Yes, but we've got our imaginations. <laughs> That's a good point. I can always read some uh, some evocative text, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just letting you know in advance. <laughs> it was me. All right. Uh, okay. so, shall we go over the plan? Definitely. So, our goal here is to kill the Baron and make it look like it was an accident from the festival. So, to divvy up responsibilities, as the snake and I will be on recon, we'll be figuring out the layout of the... We're gonna get layout of the Baron's estate, we're gonna figure out what they do during their free time, where they're gonna be during the festival. Christina, you're going to be the muscle. You're going to make sure that no one else gets in our way. Then, Jake and Diane, what are you guys going to do? I was going to help Christina because I'm strong enough to help her. All right, Diane's with Christina. Jake, what do you think you should do? One thing I would like to actually do is, I wonder if actually performing a proper funeral rite would actually help with these these um these tra this trap sold here or not. But on top of that, uh, Jake starts actually you know kind of uh, looking off in the distance here, thinking for a moment. If those people in there were actually fiends, perhaps there's some way to actually send them. Find some way to send them running. Here's what I think we should do. We definitely need to actually, uh, st you know, of course, you were saying you were having a fire trap, but actually drive them out. But we can actually ca actually capture one, of, at least one of them alive. Because I have a feeling they've actually done something into in this place, and well, we need answers more than we just need stacks of bodies. Well, from my from my previous investigation from when we first entered the town, it doesn't feel like there's any magical influence going on. It's all just the Baron exerting its power. Mm-hmm. You can strip over the Baron and hopefully it falls on something sharp. <laughs> With all the respect, I like, uh, I see where you're coming from, but I like certainty as opposed to hoping that someone steps on a rake. Actually, to be fair, we've got three days. We could hot fuzz this. This would be brilliant. <laughs> you have a time. Leslie That's Teller right? did not trip on her fucking shits. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like I said, we'll trip him over and he'll fall in some shears. Just make sure we put some there. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to look no. like an accident. Yeah. Good luck. 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 Good is there a Mr. Peter Ian's name? Because it's got swamp over here. And that was surprisingly specific. <laughs> yeah, banana skin. <laughs> Slip. <laughs> there's, there's so many ways you can make an accidental death. Mm. Oh, see, now, now Jake suggested that. I'm, I'm all for going down the serial killer route. I'm trying to take these people. Away. Well, it's so fun just killing one person. It's kill. It's fun killing a whole bunch of people. How much is there a guy with a really to... fancy house that's not really in keeping with the village's rustic estate? 
No, we should probably try to keep the bloodshed to a minimum. <laughs> yeah. We're trying I, to I stay in good it. favors of the city. I'm just having my blood loss. I need to kill something. <laughs> I just don't want to do something that's going to get us hit at a value. I mean, squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah, hmm. yeah I, I, I know the feeling. I know no. the feeling. It's not a very good time. Hmm. I think so stick to the original plan. We wait for the festival, start the fire, try and kill the Baron, and then the, they can elect a new Burgermeister. I have a better question. Maybe there actually is someone who's vying to be the next Burgermeister that we can actually side with. Oh, yes. I'm um, sorry. Last last time we met a very nice lady. Uh, Christine was very drunk. Um, who uh, her two sons should have been the next Burgermeister, or one of them should have been. Yeah, it was Carl like a, and Nikolai hmm. are the rightful burgomasters. So the, the Baron here at the minute basically usurped the town, like killed the original burgomaster and um, usurped the town. So once we kill the Baron, it'll go back to Carl. Power will return to Carl and Nikolai and their mm -hmm. family will return into being the familial burgomasters like we've seen in the other cities. Yep. And we think Strahd would be quite happy with this because yeah. I think he thinks the other guy's getting a little bit uppity. No, from what I remember, it was more that the new guy just isn't in contact with Strahd and he isn't very amused with that. Yeah. As opposed to the... <laughs> Bouncers <laughs> who were pretty well acquainted with him. Mm. Um, can I ask can I... a question, as the end? Yeah, uh, sure. Um, since I wasn't actually in the presence of Strad, should I ask who is Strad? <laughs> what have you never uh, been in the presence of Strad? I, I remember I was Rimuru. Rimuru's dead. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, he, he is known to be the lord of the land, and it's his face that's on all the coinage. Yeah. Hold me sleeve out. It's this squirrel's dad. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> it's the squirrel's father, you see. Uh, I just my my went to, to a different land there for bestiality one. He did it with a squirrel. Yeah, Strahd is a bit of a furry, I'm afraid. It's unfortunate, but to each their own. Yes, yes. <laughs> he has a lot of money, so we can't really criticise. Yeah. Well, I hope you're all saying I am actually happy you so killed my hunt. It, it took me a while to find him. <laughs> but instead of finding him alive, I found him dead. But that's, that's a bonus. I sent his head off to his dad. They don't need his money. <laughs> you may um, if we're gonna if we're gonna montage this, I would definitely like to uh, once again examine this mirror and see if I can communicate with someone on the other side. If that's cool. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, to be able to get the 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 mirror back. Um, which is, you know, is, is one of the things uh, you've been uh, you've been looking at. Yeah, and I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna just start pouring over those notes in that spellbook to see if there's anything that can hint to a way out of the mirror. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so looking at the uh, the spellbook, um, you've not been able to, you, you, you know, you, you're not able to find um, a lot about what happens should the uh, the should the soul become separated from the body or mind um, only that it is important that this does not happen uh, you are able to identify the magic item that the spell is uh, it is considered to be an atlas of endless horizons this is endless horizons Uh, 
which uh, you know uh, contains a bunch of sort of teleportation related spells. Uh, and you've also been told where it came from. That's a pretty good spell book. So, um, what's the, uh, what, what's the plan going forward? So, uh, Gladaventa and Mirak should probably stake out the Baron's estate and follow them around during the day just to figure out what they do. Yeah. Uh, then... Yeah, that was what we did last time, wasn't it? I suppose the rest of you can scout up the fairgrounds and see where, like, everything is going to be located when the day comes. Candy. <laughs> Please watch. Yeah, well, we especially want to find out what the guy is going to do with his hat. Yeah. That is more important than whether the Baron lives or dies at this point. Agreed. Is that what we do for the time being until we get Jarvan to strike? I think so. Right now, all we can really do is plan. You have some fun? <laughs> Over here? <laughs> I've never been to a fair before. <laughs> never been out. Shall we time skip? Um, we see, we don't necessarily. We don't necessarily have to time skip. Um, I mean, if because I mean, if if you are, you know, resolved to um, you, you know to sort of spend the time around the uh, around the inn, uh, then, then we can. But uh, you know, if you've got like investigations going on, it might make sense to uh, to pick up what you've uh, what you've investigated. Uh, but I think you'll you'll probably want to start by taking a long rest for for the night at least. You know, spend a spend a night in the uh, in the blue water inn. Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah. Also, I definitely want to. Uh, should I keep that as? We definitely want to get more information before we go into the battle here. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Hmm? Christina, are you still drunk? <laughs> yes, but you're still a squirrel. I'm a squirrel. <laughs> and... A drunk girl. <laughs> I'm a drunken squirrel. Mm. I can, uh, yeah, I can share. Yeah. If we're going to the end, I can share a room with Christina mm. and put her to bed. <laughs> and then, because yeah. uh, I don't think she can fight in the condition she's in just now. <laughs> <laughs> a drunk squirrel in my sleeve. She's investigating my nuts. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, folks. No. Oh my God. <laughs> No. He says, "Give me the dice, thank you." <laughs> Listen, give me the squirrel. I will look after her. Don't worry. Great job, Dom. You just got us canceled. <laughs> okay, I couldn't resist. Um, can you hand me the squirrel? That's up to the squirrel. 
Squirrel, Squirrel come with me. The squirrel has free will. Don't worry, I'll look after you. I don't mind being turned over. If you want to turn me over. <laughs> if you want to go, you can go. Yeah, I'll put you to bed. I'll suck you in as well. I'll probably read your bedtime story too. <laughs> yeah, let's all head to bed for the night. No worries. So you you able to to uh, to head to, to to bed without any uh, any issues? So can I confirm what sort of investigations you want to be doing over the next day? I am going to start some experiments to see if I can replicate what happened to Stella. So um, is that going to involve going to the manor? Yes. No worries. Um, and what sort of experiments, may I ask? I am going to go and I'm going to copy down what they did for their teleportation circle. And I'm going to see if I can replicate it to try to send something through to the mirror. Ah, uh, okay, no worries. Yeah, so you can, uh... You can, uh, yeah, so, so you can spend your, your, you know, your day doing that sort of thing. Uh, how about everyone else? Oh, and also, when you've confirmed to me what you're doing, can you message it in the Roll20? Um, so then uh, I can't forget it. <laughs> I was going to ask Christina if she wants to do training, a little bit of strength training with me. Get ready for it, basically. Sure. I was thinking, maybe, if I don't have anything better to do, going back over to see Lady, um... Her name's gone out of my head. In the house up here. Ah, uh, Lady Vector. And seeing if she knows anything. Um, yeah, no, you, could certainly, no. you could certainly try doing that. Yep. So, um... What 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 sort of thing would you be looking to uh, to speak to her about? Um, I guess if she knew anything about Stella before, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I don't know. To be honest, I was just looking for something to do because I couldn't think of anything better. Um, Yeah, if she knew anything about Stella before, um, if she knew anything about breaking a curse. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you, you've, you've, you've been, like, giving some, I'm like, like locations as well. <laughs> like, you've been told where the book came from. You've been told mm. sort of roughly where this spirit seems to be haunting. Mm. Um... Oh, yeah, sorry, but, uh, where that's... did the spirit seem to be haunting? I must have missed that. I must have... Uh, in the southwest where the elves live. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll change my mind and go and investigate where the elves are in the southwest. Uh, get the noise. Oh, I don't know about why, but I want to have an arm wrestling match with Christina just now. <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you, Christina. <laughs> Tell okay, her so, much. Yeah. So that that's okay. So and then uh, can I just confirm what Jake's going to be doing? I'm actually going to be assisting um, uh, Camille with the investigation because one is it, it involves undead, and two, I speak Elvish. Uh, sorry, are you going with Camille back to the? Hall, or you can move me to the elves, or are you doing both? Oh, oh. you know, I, I saw the wrong person's name light up. I'm sorry, I'm going with you to <laughs> okay. You know, I got a little confused, also. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to go into the elves as well because they're like kind of my, my people just being half elf, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I think I might be well, it depends uh, if the elves speak common, then we're grand, but if the elves don't speak common, then I'll be assisting um, Talon. Because I don't speak Elvish. I can speak Elvish. You're like an elf. Like an elf would be handy, you. Yeah. <laughs> also, I definitely want to be looking around for any other signs of undead, anything else that might help us in our main quest here. 
now I feel kind of bad on Kamir because now he's going off on his own. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'll be fine. He's really, he, he'll be fine. He's never alone. Everyone's following the weird snake down the path. <laughs> well, I want to I wanna arm wrestle Kusuma first. I want to see he's stronger. Oh, uh, well, you may have an arm wrestle before going to see the elves. <laughs> Uh, what do we need to roll? Uh, yes, please. Uh, it would be a strength contest. Um, I'm not sure if I can really justify putting in the uh, the athletics for an arm wrestle, uh, but we'll do a strength contest. Uh, should we do a strength shoot? Is this the thing where I've got the thing? Boy. No, different, different character. Okay, and um, what is that's Christina's uh, 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 check. Uh, this is ten, so uh, it looks like uh, Christina is able to uh, to get the best of you this time. Can I ask a question, Nikki? What is your strengths on this? My strengths, or yeah. My strength is 15 with a plus 2 modifier. Mine says an 18 plus 4 modifier, so how did you beat me? Magic! <laughs> it's... the dice decided. Oh, don't worry. If I have to use Arcana, Athletics, History, Investigation, Nature, Perception, Religion, and Survival, beware. They're all advantage. <laughs> It's, all, it's got easels <clears throat> next to these rules, I'm like, uh... In good sport, I will give Diane a handshake. Handshake, okay. <laughs> um, I would just say it's a pleasure wrestling with you. I hope to do it again sometime soon. Um, sure. It was a pleasure having a arm wrestle with you. I should say the advantage next to those skills, I believe, are for like specific things. So I think it's to like recall information about is it something like celestial fiends and undead, or to track them. Anyway, uh, it being your class description, but uh, yes, that is a uh, that is one of the features. So that's the result of the the arm wrestle. Uh, we'll do Kamiya before we uh, before we do the others. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, so Camille, you know, spends some time, um, in the, uh, in the manor, uh, you know, with, with Victor, uh, he is able to, uh, to conclude that the, uh, the teleportation circle basically doesn't seem to have been done properly. One of the, uh, one of the sigils was mistranscribed backwards. Uh, and that seems to be why this has failed. Um, okay. First off, I'm banning them from ever doing any kind of magic sigils again. Because that's like a really bad mistake to me. Yeah. See why my mother didn't want them using it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's um, that's what's happened. That's what's happened there, uh, and you're able to confirm from putting a variety of inanimate objects through uh, that the inanimate objects sort of don't teleport at all, uh, and instead come back broken, oh. somewhat broken. Don't they're don't they're not like shredded, but they you, you know they they do break. So uh, yeah, you're you're confident that this uh, this um, this teleportation circle's not been inscribed properly, and that's why the spell fails. Um, during the day, um, you see, uh, you, you know, you would see, um, you know, um, uh, the the woman from. Uh, the previous day appear. You might see her like out of a window. So it looks like she doesn't live at the manor house. Um, 
And, uh, you know, Victor will tell you that uh, she started appearing a couple of days ago. Well, a couple of days before you came, so that'd be three days ago. Uh, and she seems to be offering some sort of business opportunity. But that's all he seems to know. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, <clears throat> I guess one. Uh, is it Kamea? Doing this one more thing, thing. Okay, but I gotta do the one more thing, thing. Um, and actually, then ask the resident blood hunter if uh, she knows how to actually trap fiends, since we're gonna be dealing with fiends. Okay, sleep it off. Anyway, <laughs> so Jake, keeps it moving. No worries. Uh, is there anything I should like to do, Camille? Is there any way for me to send, like, is there any way for me to, like, trap wildlife so I can try to send a small animal through? Um, you can try and use uh, a hunting trap. Or... I do. You... I do? Yeah. Um, so you can make, like, a survival check to try and get something to send. Alright. Victor will not let you use his cat under any circumstances. No, that's fair. That is a four. <laughs> ah, okay. So you'll, you'll be, uh, unable to, uh, to trap anything today. Whether you, like, try and, like, set a, a rat trap in the town or sort of go into the woods. Um, it's not gonna... Not gonna work, I'm afraid. Um, I suppose you could try and send your familiar, but that's probably not gonna do good things. I say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know Well, that will be all. No worries. Um, so as for the others, um, so you've been told. The, the, uh, the, the, you know, the elves are in the southwest. Um, but, uh, but you, you, you know, you'll, you'll probably want, like, a better lead than just, uh, than just southwest. Do you have any plan on getting one? Uh, sorry, it, so it's southwest of the town rather than just the southwest of the town? Uh, southwest of the town. Southwest of the town. Uh, well... Uh, is is there a smiling person? Presumably on the street we could call her and ask? Ah, uh, you could certainly try asking someone. And maybe reinforce that with the fact that um, if you give us the wrong answer, it will go to the Baron because it will make us sad. Mm. And he doesn't like sad people in the town. <laughs> <laughs> the, the smiling person shakes his head. He also doesn't like Vistani or elves. They, then, uh, uh, they have their settlement outside. We heard the rails in the southwest of the town. Is that false? Right, okay, so they are southwest of the town. Of the ta oh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> my bad, okay. Yeah. You can see where I'm getting confused. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, he'll give you a description that's that um, you, you know on this on the map that you're looking at that you technically don't like have a physical map of, but anyway, mm. it would be here. There. Okay. There we go. So yes, okay. in the uh, in the woods. In the woods. We. Set off that way then, towards the um, the hill fort in the woods. Okay, no worries. Yeah. yeah so, so uh, got... you're hmm. able to you're able to head into the woods. Um. So you've got you know you've got a, a choice of paths. Um. Yeah. There are um. There are some good paths that you can follow. 
uh, and there doesn't seem to be sort of that much danger. You know, there's a town, the guards make patrols, uh, the woods should be fairly safe around here. Um, and as you, uh, as you uh, head into the, uh, you know, to the woods uh, and along these paths, um, you know, following them, you are able to, uh, to find a ring of wagons. Oh, got that one. A ring of wagons. Um, you know, around uh, a big central, a big and a big central tent, and there also are some more permanent houses in the uh, in the elven style. Oh, what would you like to do? Uh. You'd probably come in from the top right of the map. Top right. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. On that path. Um, unless anybody has any better ideas, I say we just go in there with open arms and greet them and say hello. And... Well, I think friend, being friendly is the best approach. Mm. Sure. If they, uh, if they are hostile, if they're pretty new hostile, then we may have to attack. But yeah, mm. and see, it's self defense. You can't do anything. I think we'll be good. No worries. Okay. So um yeah, so you're able to, to get in. You know some of the. Uh, you know, some of the uh, some of the elves, you know, see you, and uh, you know they will they will follow, um, but uh, they don't seem particularly interested in uh, in stopping you uh, as you head for the, uh, the the ring of wagons. Um, outside, you can uh, you know outside the the wagons, um, you can see that there's a. Uh, a wounded, uh, you know, uh, Vistana, uh, who, uh, you know, who seems to be, uh, uh, you know, explaining something frantically. Uh, he uh, he says, uh, I told you, it's a ghost, an, an mm. elven ghost. Mm. <laughs> 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 the um the uh the, the Vistana he's he's talking to uh you know a um uh, uh you know, strokes his uh, strokes his beard before saying come on now Alexia today it is an elven ghost Yesterday it was uh, it was a uh, it was some some girl from the town. Come on, there's nothing in these woods. I'm I'm telling you, it was a it was an elven woman. The um. The uh, the you know the the other Vistana smiles. An elven woman, you say? Why don't you tell some of the other elves? I heard they haven't seen one of those in a century. Oh. One oh, of hang the. On. Uh... Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> They've not seen another elven woman in a century. One of the uh, the other Vistani laugh. Uh, and I think that would sort of be uh, an appropriate time, uh, you know, for them to, to notice you. What's this? Can I say hello? <laughs> uh, if you pop yourself on the map, you can say whatever you'd like. Uh, where are they? Because I can't see them. Ah. Uh, Dan says. Are you in there? I was lost <laughs> there for a minute. Entrance to the camp, wouldn't uh... Uh, I'll get myself 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do a rewrite. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> that one. <laughs> um, can I step? Can I go in front of you? Uh, here this is. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'm gonna say hi. I'm Dian, Beast Blood. Uh, these are my friends. <laughs> The, um, the bearded man uh, talks to you and, uh, and says, uh, my name, uh, my name is Aragol. I don't believe I've seen you before. Uh, what brings you to our humble camp? That part I don't know. I think we just stumbled upon this camp because we're just chat. We're just passing through. Are you lying on purpose or not? No, no, I don't actually know why we're here. Okay. <laughs> Guess. Oh, it's funny you should say that because when we came into this camp, we heard uh, one of your younger, uh, one of your younglings, <laughs> saying uh, <laughs> that she'd seen a um, an elven ghost, and we're actually on the trail of an elven ghost been sighted around here. I know you may dismiss her concerns, but uh, we, we think it is important to what's going on in the town. Uh, uh, Aragorn uh, frowns at this. He, uh, he says, uh, Well, Alexei, it looks like there is an answer. Either they're on the same goose chase, or, he says, pointing at Christina, there's your elven ghost there. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> Alexei responds with, I'm telling you, it was an elven ghost. Ooh. It's right, either, you see, you're not alone now, either we're, like, we're nuts and you're nuts, so you're not alone, or we're both right. The um, Aragorn, uh, yeah, throws his arms up in a, uh, in exagger, you know, in exasperation. He uh, he says, "Well, if you're looking to follow ghosts in the woods, you're welcome to. I'm gonna get myself a drink." <laughs> the uh, the uh, yeah, he he heads back into the he had to, he, you know he heads um, he heads round to. Um, to the stores. Feel bad that Kamir's not here. Can I signal him to come and join us? How would you do that? Well, I'm trying to think of my range for um, my familiar. It's a hundred feet if you're trying to send your. Uh, no, I, it, I think it's further than me. Further for me, because I'm packed to the chain. Maybe. I never played pack to the chain. I wouldn't know. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if uh, if you are within range, uh, you know, according to what you can do, then that is a thing you can do. But I am, um, I guess, I'm also checking. Um, yeah. Me too. God, I hate the way the structure of the class list. Um, there we go. The third level. Okay. You can spell it. Okay. Right, so you learn the Find Familiar spell, and all it does is increase challenge rating and allows it to attack, unless you have a thing that does something else, like an invocation. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's out of range, isn't it? Yeah, out of range of 100 feet. Everyone got the Sending spell. I have no magic, apart from, uh, no, Transformer into something. Yeah. No, I don't, unfortunately. No worries. So I heard someone say wait. Um. Maybe it turns up out of the blue. 
Ah, uh, no mind. Well, um, yeah, at, le at least for the for the time being, he's at the uh, the manor. What do you want to do that here? Oh, hang on. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> Eldritch invocations. Voice of the chainmaster. You can communicate telepathically with your familiar, perceive through its senses, and speak through it in your own voice as long as you are on the same plane of existence. Ah, so you do have an invocation. Then, yeah, that's a thing you can do. Okay. Uh, so you <laughs> can... Is, 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 is there any chance that Leventa can sneak out and either speak to Mirak, like, because they're both hiding around the house, or while... Well, well, they're in like the same place, just gland eventers invisible, so that that'd be fine. Yeah, uh, and just just tell Kamir to get his ass over to the hill, <laughs> southwest. I'm busy, bro. Yeah. Jeez, Dad, I'm busy. Get out of my <laughs> room. <laughs> just didn't want you to feel left out. I'm working on something. <laughs> All right, fine. If you want to stay, you can stay. I just thought you might you might want to like tag along. I'm trying to save a person, Dad. Get out so of my room. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mingle with everyone. We should probably ask, like, what the more about the the ghost, the like, what the elven ghost like, what she looks like. Uh. That's why I'm mingling, Nikki. Uh. I'm mingling with uh. the crowd. <laughs> Point. Um, am I right in thinking? Yeah, this gentleman down here looks hurt. Ah, uh, he is. He looks like he's been scratched up with thorns. Ow. Ow. I can help with that. Do it, powers. Have some healing. Okay. Well, I can help with that and scratch him some more. <laughs> so that that certainly um, you know patches him up a bit, and you know he'll uh, he'll turn to you. Uh, his name has been given uh, uh, as Alexei, so uh, you know he'll uh, say, "Yeah, uh, well, thank you kindly for doing that. I uh, I fell into a briar patch. Oh. The ghost must have tripped me." <laughs> All right, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> oh, I'm picking up, by the way, before I forget to introduce myself. Yeah, and I... mm. Pleasure to meet you. Mm. How's this list? <laughs> uh, this elven ghost you see, you saw, what, can you tell us more about her? Like, what she looks like? He, um... He, uh, he says, uh, well, about this tall, he says, you know, putting his hand somewhere vaguely around his, uh, you know, uh, vaguely at her, like, neck height. He says, uh, and she, uh, she looked like an elf. She, uh, had some stab wounds on, uh, on her neck. As in, like, small puncture marks? No, no, no. Oh, okay. big knife. Oh, big, big knife, not little like, teeth. Okay. Like it's not your dad, Christina. You're fine. Would you say it's foul play? <laughs> I'd say so. Mm. Normally, if you have a dagger protruding from your neck, that suggests foul play. Would you hear a fell and tripped over? <laughs> Yeah, London didn't work. Nice. Leslie Diller was fucking murdered. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, I don't think there was anything accidental about it. <laughs> um, do you know who she is? No, I uh. I don't know any elves except the ones here, and they're all men. He uh, points to the two that have been sort of looking at you and says, uh, like them lot. 
I don't think you have any female owls here. Hmm. He, uh, he shrugs and I don't know. <laughs> it's because they're all perverts. <laughs> no, folks. <laughs> half insulted, half insulted because I'm only half elf. Also, half insulted. Uh, <laughs> well, he did say male out. He did say male out. So. <laughs> maybe, maybe the men are scared that the women would be better at fighting. And any legends about where your female elves went? Um, uh, Alexei like doesn't <laughs> seem to uh, to know. No, fair enough. So she would just, this like, guy. go around asking why there are no female elves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you two be female elves go around this camp of, like, men who have never seen women for ages asking, where are all your women at? Oh my god, if only I was a different character, I would have moved them end all. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to talk to this weird guy. Go, hi. <laughs> Have you seen a dead person walking around? So, so who are you asking this to? Uh, the bearded guy that's just in front of me. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, the, you know, the, this, um, this person has a much thicker beard, and he says, uh... No. No, I've, I've not seen anyone dead. Well, that's what ghosts are, they're dead people. And I've said I've not seen them. I don't think he did either. So you don't know. Uh, he says he was tripped up by a ghost. I don't believe that any more than I believe it was the ghost that shat in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Is he crazy? Does he have a history of mental health? Is a history of going into the woods and seeing things. Well, let's go to the woods. If you see things, let's go there. I want to see these things. I want to repeat things. the why is there no female else here? <laughs> he um he says, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe there are no female elves, and the new ones just crawl out of trees. I just said, I don't know why, but I feel like I should do an inside check to see if he's lying. <laughs> lying on what? About the ghost thing. I just have a horrible feeling he's lying to me. Uh, you, you can make an insight check. Okay, so um, he seems sincere, uh, and he just seems to be in a bad mood at the moment. Something's clearly on his mind, as making him rather irritable. Um, can I ask him what's wrong? Uh, what's wrong, Serapis? <laughs> <laughs> what's with the grumpy face? He uh, he doesn't take too kindly to that. Tower puss. He, uh, he, um, he, he says none of your business and moves to walk away. I feel like I feel like taking him with a scarlet shotgun. Tell me, don't lie to me. <laughs> I just feel like I can help him. That's all. He, um. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> oh, even if I'm in a bad, bad mood, if I hurt him. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. So, um, so, so you're, um, so you're, you're, you're trying to ask further, uh, you know, to to to, to which he'd, uh, to which he'd say, um. It's nothing. It's just been a bad harvest. Well, uh, we'll be able to stock up next year. 
And, uh, oh, yes, Jake, you may. Uh, okay, so I'm just getting some messages coming through. Uh, is anyone else doing? Is, is um is would Diane respond to that? Well, I'm just a bit rude, but understandable. No worries. I'm back. Has Diane died yet? No. No. Oh, wow. uh, she's found out that there's been some uh, concerns about the, um, y you know, about a harvest somewhere. Mm. Which, uh, as these are tradespeople, uh, it it's unlikely to be their own harvest. I'm going to ask this question to you, Dom. Why are you yeah. when I was dead? I wasn't hoping you were dead. I was just assuming you were. I'm not really rude. I stepped out of the room for five seconds. I assumed you would have said somebody something to somebody that would have resulted in your immediate murder. No, but this is not really, really, really I'm, I'm right. pleasantly yeah. surprised that I was wrong. Deanne's a nice person. Really, really <laughs> an asshole. There's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> and unless there's any further questions, this sourpuss is going to be leaving. <laughs> A moment before you go, sir. He uh, looks exasperated as he turns back, but, uh, you, you know, we'll take your question. What would you know about mirrors and portals to other realms? Hey, um, he, uh, he shrugs. Mirrors show things you don't want to see, and portals show you places you don't want to go. Rather pessimistic way of looking at it, but how do you, you know of anyone being trapped on the other side of one? Portal? I imagine that happens a lot. Well, not where I'm from, but I'm not where I'm from. What of mirrors? I've never heard of someone getting trapped in a mirror. In he telling the truth. You can make an insight check. Okay. Yes, I'd like to get nice and uncomfortably close to him too. Just stand right, right in his little loop. Okay. Yeah. So uh, again, exasperated but sincere. He's not told you any lies. Right, well, I have one of things to discuss with uh, this gentleman here. I'm not sure if the rest of you have. I don't think the, I want to say uh, anything to that gentleman. I want to just find out which direction the ghost was. That is that especially as well. If you use mm. point I don't want to know why there's no female elves. Yeah, they don't know. We tried that one. <laughs> well, the 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 humans you've spoken to don't know. Mm. Oh, Where's the elves? <laughs> there's a couple of them close to hand. Which ones are elves? The ones with uh, the pointy ears. The ones, yes. <laughs> uh, that's right. Yeah, the the ones. Yeah, that's right. The uh, the the two with the pointy ears that were shadowing you earlier. Are these two. Oh, can I go and ask them why there's no feeling of fear? No one, no worries. So you, you can see that they're um, you know that that the, the, these elves look to be uh, you know fairly old. They'd be. You know, they'd be about 300 years old, uh, you know, as, as you approach. And, um, you know, and then, you know, they uh, look at you with 
a certain amount of uh, of awe. Um, you know, as you uh, as you approach. <laughs> And uh, yes, and then so you're, you're asking them where the female elves are. <laughs> what is you two doing this? <laughs> um, do you want to ask, Christina, or do you want me to ask? I can ask. That's it. So one of the uh, one of the elves uh, you know, looks sadly and says, "They are they are dead. They are all dead." With all of them? They, uh, they both nod. Uh, can I ask how? If it's okay, if it's, if it's a serious subject, then you don't need to tell me, but I'm just wondering why, or how. Uh, a devil in his tower had them all killed. Do you mean this strad dude? Uh, they, uh, they nod. Where's your answer, Christina? Your dad's an asshole. Shit! <laughs> 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 you know, is there like some sort of check? I just have to like slap my hand like across her mouth before she says <laughs> that out loud. Slap the hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can try and grapple her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, do I need to do a saving throw for that one? Hmm? Do I need to do a saving throw for that one? Uh, I mean, it would be like uh, an athletics or acrobatics check. I'll do athletics, because I've got an advantage on that. <laughs> yeah, Christine is using an, an athletics check. And seven. Dang it. <laughs> 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unable to properly gag her, uh, the elves do hear, uh, uh, you know, what's happening. <laughs> they, uh, you, you know, one of them says, uh, That devil can't sire any spawn. We heard. We heard he is doomed to remain a. Uh, Alone and unsatisfied. Does that mean you don't believe her? How can you not believe me? I've got a honest face. The only way to do that would to shove me, would be to shove my birth papers in their faces, which I'm not doing. No worries. Uh, I'm gonna say, Christina, confess. No! Yeah. And they could always just say they were forged. Yeah, I think so. I, I'm gonna do a persuasion check. <laughs> I'm, persuasion. I'm not sure they're. I'm not sure they're conspiracy theorists. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, they, they do seem to the father who is the mother. <laughs> Why does she seem slightly elvish? Mom's an elf, I say. Is your mom elf? Yes, my mom's an elf. And she's is she where dead the or elf came from? Is she dead? I assume so. Probably. Her know. mom's dead. Her elf mom's dead. <laughs> the um. The elves, one of the elves nods. That sounds about right. Uh, I had thought uh, all our people had been, all our women had been slain. It appears that a worse must have awaited at least one of them. Uh, and with that, 
you know, one of them's going to, uh, you know, just turn away in a sort of disgust. And then the um, the other one will say, uh, if that devil is your father, he has a lot to answer for in these lands. And we'll do the same. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be a lot worse, will not you? <laughs> that be worse. Be I thought he was going to kill you. <laughs> I would have stepped in front of you and my arms had gone. She disowned him ages ago. She has nothing to do with him. <laughs> I was so prepared for it as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Christina. I didn't mean to. But I, I, I've been having issues with this. And we're back. Continue. <laughs> right, should I continue apologizing to you? When I'm saying I'm sorry, it's the meds are on. It's like true serum. I can't lie. Mm -hmm. I'm brutally honest. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did we find out where the ghost was coming from? Uh, I don't think you asked. <laughs> I think it's in the woods. I heard something about the woods. Just roll my eyes at this and ask, um, oh, what was that gentleman's name? That was just in front of me or below me. Uh, or... Alexi. Alexi. Where did your was it his son? We saw the ghosts. So uh um well I mean Ale Alexi's the one you've been uh you've been speaking to right here. Mm. He mm. uh you know, he said uh, It was last night I I saw her. Mm. But I I tell you I've been uh been plagued by ghosts recently. Uh, Aragol was was right. He did say that uh, you know, l last night I I saw a uh, you know an, an elven woman, uh, but uh, previously I've uh, I saw someone who I'm I'm sure I've seen uh, entering Valaki. Because I've not been allowed into the town, but I. Uh, I did see her. You describe her for me? Yeah, so it gives you a description uh, that seems to match that of Stella Vapta. Yeah, I thought it would. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he says, uh, oh, oh, you've always had a bit of a knack for seeing ghosts. Wait, is he a necromancer? <laughs> No, we're just going to call him Claire. Claire Void. <laughs> uh, so the El are we are we interested in the other ghost? Everybody um, else? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, could you point us in the direction of the the elven ghost you saw, and we all uh, we shall investigate that first because our journeys take us back to town anyway, and then we'll investigate the other one along the way. So he um, he gives you some uh, some directions, um, you know, before re you know, reiterating to you that uh, it was a. Uh, I saw her in the dead of night. He uh, looks up at the overcast sky and says, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if the ghosts appear by day. Okay. Well, maybe we share your fire until evening before trudging out into the woods. No worries. If you do that, that will leave plenty of time for Camille to appear after he's done his things. Camille to appear. <laughs> I'm working on my experiments, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, you are wanted. You have been summoned. <laughs> yeah, man, and it will be sort of like after you've done most of your experiments, because you can only really experiment as long as Victor's got spell slots. It'd take him extra long because every now and then there's just a nagging voice in his ear going, Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, like, that was what I was going for with the name, but to have it used against me, I don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sword cuts both ways. Apparently. <laughs> okay. So um, I'll uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, yeah. So I think if plan is to wait for nightfall, because uh, you, you know, no one particularly wants to kick you out unless you're, you know, being a nuisance. Then uh, that would be fine. I am wait I'd outside here, <laughs> and then uh, you, you know, uh, Camille can uh, you know can uh, can arrive. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't then... feel particularly like here anymore. <laughs> it's cool. It's it's just the elves. <laughs> uh, it's not your fault. I can go and tell the elves that you're it's here as fault. tribute, so you have as much to fear as Strahd as they do. It's <laughs> my fault. Mm. I, I I'll 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 do anything if you be my friend again. I I. I mean, have issues. I don't even like my dad. Yeah. I hope he's not listening. If he's Fine. listening, then I can tell him to mind his own business. I'll well, spend no, a bit of time really waiting for nightfall. Talking to the two elves and telling them that Christina is here as tribute, and yeah, she's as much of a victim of Strahd as, as, as they are, and it's not her fault. I'm so grovel, and all. I'm like kissing her feet, going, <laughs> Forgive me. Accept your apology, okay? <laughs> I'm, and then I'm still on the ground going down, going, I, I'm I thank you, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's on. She's on a lot of medication. <laughs> it has all Hello. sorts of issues. And I'm not going to tell you all of them because there's a lot. She, I can tell you the the run of her. She's crazy. Okay, so um, yeah, so, so as night falls, you're um, you, you're planning to uh, to head into the woods. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Plan. Can we time it just so literally as Camille's run up the hill and he's out of breath? Then we go right. We're off. <laughs> You can indeed. I'm not sure that will be appreciated by all, but that is a thing you can do. I'll just walk, walk by and say, all right, come, come on, Kira, keep up. Yeah. And you just keep yeah. moving. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so you're able to uh, to head into the woods. Um, yeah, so... Um, you can't see, uh, you can't see, uh, you know, the paths as clearly as, uh, you know, as before, you know, and it looks like the, uh, the Vistani don't use some of the, uh, some of the deep ones into the woods. Um, but, uh, you know, you're able to, uh, to follow a trail. Can I get a marching order for you, please? Christine or the Barbarian, he'd best be up front, I guess. I'll go up front. Yeah. I'll be towards the back. Probably just in front of Khmer, who's out of breath. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll, 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 stop, I'll stop being mean for the night. <laughs> and the rest of you? have got like 20 minutes left. <laughs> 
No, stay, I'll sit in the middle comfortably. Mm. Okay, so we've got number two and number four. I just have a question here. Um, it just seems like the females of this group are the strongest. Yeah. <laughs> and we're both half elf. So you're volunteering for me number two then, are you, Diane? Sorry? You're volunteering to be number two. Yes, I'm number two. We should call you number two. <laughs> okay. I'm the leader. Oh, I'm the leader, the leader, the leader. <laughs> So as you're um, as you're going through, um, can uh, can Christina make me a perception check, please? Okay. Yeah. So uh, so with a fifteen, uh, sorry, with a four, with a fourteen, sorry, um. You're able to, um, yeah. You see, you're able to see uh, a tree root that extend from the path um, suddenly, and you're able to bring yourself to a stop. It looks like it was trying to trip you over into uh, a briar patch, and uh, you know, as you all, uh, you know, as, as you and the others come to uh come to a stop um you can suddenly feel the trees around you moving can i get uh initiative rolls from everyone please the trees are moving Oosh. this is not a good character for initiative So you don't need to click on your token video, because... Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. It's not done that well. That's why we're glad to have Kamir with us. He Wait, keeps am I there? Me. Am I there yet? I thought I'd be there in the morning. Oh, no, I thought you were coming with us at night. Oh. I will. Jack? Uh, that, that was my presumption as well. I'll come. Uh, so you can uh, you can see that it's um, so I should probably make you move you a bit closer really uh, but yeah it's uh, it's uh, it's this tree here that's tried to trip you and then I've got uh, I've got initiatives um, for what's going on And I'll, I'm ready. Uh, I, I can, oh, I'm ready. So uh, red goes on initiative count six, and blue on initiative count eleven. Is that it? Yep. All right, Diane goes first. The fact we've all been walking in a line like the like seven right. dwarfs. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to space yourself out, you can a bit. <laughs> But... I'm going to attack the tree with my. I'm going to attack the tree with my great sword. Uh, go for it. Uh, okay, that's a twenty to hit. Um, that will hit. You'll have to like. I think. Yeah, you'll have to. Yeah, you'll have to move up a step, but absolutely, that's a hit. Yep. 
Okay, 14 slashing damage. So, uh, yeah, uh, once you've moved up, I'll put the damage through. Uh, I would like to uh, you, uh, use my action to move up to and same with my character, I can't move her. <laughs> ah, okay, no worries. Right, I'll check the... Ah, okay, right. I think that of those permissions will be right. Uh, I'm not sure, because I haven't played a Blood Hunter in a while. I've got... I've got, um... Uh, I've got a hybrid form uh, uh, Predatory Strength, which is a Dex. Dex. And I've got a, another one, which is Strength. Right? I don't know which one to use. <laughs> um, I, I, um, I'm not sure I can really recommend that. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll put the damage through. Oh, I see. You've got a choice of which modifier to use. So you'd use whichever one you'd prefer. Hint, the bigger one. That's what she said. Uh... <laughs> Probably the strength one. Okay, and that says when you use the attack action to make an unarmed strike, you can make one additional unarmed strike as a bonus action. So you've used your uh, attack to make a great sword attack. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that for my next one then. Uh, okay, that's fine. It's my turn. Uh, okay, who's next? Next is Jake. Let me keep it simple. Over here, I'm going to drop my spiritual weapon. And since it's a, it's like a tree, I'm going to make a big shovel. Now, you should have made a lumberjack sack. Maybe next time. And we roll like crap, so it's a 15 hit. Uh, 15 meets it, beats it, so that'll be 9 force damage. <laughs> uh, all goes through. Great, and for action, uh, let's see, how far am I from it? Am I within 10 feet? Pun? Um, I'm I think you're 15 feet away from it. Okay, I'm just going to... Sorry, the... He wasn't acting up, okay. So I'm gonna move up just a little bit. It's like yeah. right here. And I whip out my whip and whip it. Go for it. That sounded better in my head, but I'm doing it anyway. That's right. You can whip the tree. Man, that's a natural one. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a miss, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm done. No worries. Who's next? Next is Christina. So a bonus action to enrage yourself. Yeah. And well surge. Whenever I get hit I lash out magic and retribution. And they take one D six force damage. That's right. I'm gonna take my. I haven't used this weapon yet. I'll take a swing with my dragon wrath weapon. Go for it. That's a hit. Oh, that's a hit. Uh, yeah, I was just looking, there's two, I've got two different damage type dice. There's a 1d8 and a 1d10. I'm not sure which one to roll. 
Oh, if you're attacking with one hand, it's a D8, and if it's with two, you're attacking, and then it's a D10. Because it's a long sword, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you use a shield? No. I'd be then it's a D10. Shield. Okay. Noise? Uh, okay. <laughs> so, that's going to be three slashing damage. All goes through. Uh, <coughs> that'll be my rule. Plus the force damage. Oh, when it hits you. Never mind. That's when it hits. That's when I get mm. hit. Yep. Mm. Blue. Blue. So the, um, so, so the tree that you've been, uh, attacking, um, you, you know, will, uh, respond trying to slam you with one of its branches. So the dice have decided um that the uh, the one being uh, the one being slammed yeah because it's got a reach um is gonna be jake didn't like the uh, the magic thing yeah. however that's just gonna be an eight to hit uh you can also you can also see uh two other yes Animated. I was just typing that. I was just thinking something's gonna come out of there and spank me and come here in a minute. So <laughs> one of them is gonna be on Khmer and one of them is gonna be on Ashesless. Yeah. Okay, so um both attack rolls are gonna be uh twenty fours. Double hit. Yeah. Always. So the one on uh Kamea is gonna be 18 bludgeoning damage, and the one on Ashes list is going to be 12. Ouch. That took out two-thirds of my health. That's dung. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> and that's going to be the trees go. Alright, next up is Ashes list. Okay. Um, Alright. I'm going to want to go for... The one that's already taken a bit of damage. Try and get that out of the way. Uh, so there should be two Eldritch Blasts on it. Yep. Yeah. So we're 22 and... Uh, yep. Is it doing it? Oh, wait, wait, yeah, 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 your fifth level, so it should do oh. two. So yeah, the 22 no, sorry. hits, the 11 misses, misses. unable to appear to its natural bark. Yeah, that's fair enough. So the the twenty two will do ten damage. Yeah. And then the tree is bloodied. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. <laughs> uh, that will provoke opportunity attacks from oh, both Oh, because they've got a reach. Oh, they oh. have a reach. Balls. No, okay. We're not stuffed. We're going to Misty Step instead to the same position. Yeah, that's fine. That's the thing you can do. <laughs> Next up is Red. Okay. Which is right there, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> that would be doing in the... Um, oops. Doing in the... Have I just put everyone on the GM line? I think, I think you did. You yes. Except there me. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Stirring oh. in the other uh, thickets, uh, you can see some smaller creatures. Uh, they look like uh, they look in a fairly in a fairly humanish shape, uh, but they are uh, you know they are they are made of wood or uh, some other you know, similar material, and uh, they have these big needles, these many needles. Um, so this one here. Uh, is going to, uh, you know, fire a, a volley at Christina. Uh, this one here at uh, Ashesless. Yeah, because Ashesless has just run past it. Yeah. Uh, well, teleported past it. And this one's going to come up here and try and shoot at Camille. So the the one on Christina is going to be a 21. The one on Ashesless is going to be an 8. And Thanks. the one on Camille is going to be a 7. So I presume only the one on Christina's a hit. Yep. There's a magic wall flashing, so it'll take 1d6 damage. Yep, so um, it does 9 piercing damage, which you'll be able to half to 4 as you're raging, 
and then it's going to take a d6. Do you want to roll it, or shall I? Uh, I could roll it. All right, away. <laughs> no, no Jack, you roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Han, I've just set its hit points to one. There we go, that's better. <laughs> one, one, one force damage. And that's, that's gonna be the, the reds. Alright, I'm up. Bonus action, activate my blade song. Ten foot bonus to movement speed in addition to some other goodies. Is this a ten foot reach on these trees? I assume. Uh, that that that's right. So uh, it's only the the lower one, the one that hit you, that um, you know can make opportunity attacks against you. Try um, using magic, come here. I know you can do it. I'm trying to figure out you. which. Shut up, stupid <laughs> snake. Do I try to hit as many as possible, or do I try to do single target? Wait, actually. Can I? I am going to target this blue tree over here with third level chromatic orb cast as fire damage. Go for it. Fourteen to hit. I'm afraid that's just a miss. Damn it. Um, kind of stuck where I am. I use my bonus action. Oh no, I am. sorry. No, I miss. Uh, no, sorry. I see what I've done. No, sorry. I have actually misread its AC. Sorry, I thought its AC said it was fifteen. Its AC is thirteen, so that will be a hit. So that's 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 on me. Alright, uh, fire damage. Yeah, I know why I've got it confused. Because uh, there is a similar creature. So that's going to be 21 fire damage. Uh, it will be taking 42. Let's How go. do you want to kill the tree? No. Burn it to the ground! No worries. So this, this tree um, you know, just uh, uh, appears in flames. And uh, yeah, that will uh, that will do for that one. And then you got these other and ones. I am retreating. I will take the opportunity attack. No worries. That's going to be an 11 to hit, which should that miss. That will not hit. And that will be my turn going on back to Diane. Bronga, it's your turn. Are these little guys enemies? Yeah, uh, they have shot at you. Step forward, and I'm going to use my hybrid form uh, yes. strength. Okay. It's okay, because this one. That's a crit. Very nice. Cool. Does it have a, a reach, or are you moving up? Oh, I'm moving up to the guy that's um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy. What's that? Uh, okay, noise. <laughs> and it, it looks like it's uh, not rolled the crit damage. So can you roll another d6, please? Uh, the damage is not as much for nothing. Pun? Yeah, yeah, uh, but it's not about the critical damage. Oh, yeah, right, sorry. <laughs> is it just the same thing I did here? No, 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 it's, you have to roll 1d6. Okay. Oh, yeah, I Uh, okay, 14, um, 
Uh, what kind of damage is that? Uh, I think it's... Uh, how does it say? Okay. Well, um, in any case, this target doesn't discriminate between um, piercing, bludgeoning, or slashing. So as long as it's one of them, uh, that's all going to go through. How do you want to finish it off? Um, I... I don't know, I, I, my, my, my hybrid form is a tiger, so I kind of decapitate him. No worries. And that was my bonus action. Am I able to do an, atta an actual attack on the tree? Um, so that would have to be your action, and then you can use the bonus action to make an unarmed strike. Okay, it says you can choose between bludgeoning or slashing damage. That's right. Uh, but yeah, and then if you've still got some movement, you can move and make that bonus action attack. As an attack or just the one I... Uh, you, you'd have to make an attack roll. Is that with my my hybrid thing or just just a normal attack? Uh oh, it's, it's your hybrid form because you're you're still in your hybrid form. I just strength last time. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a ten to hit. Um. So that's good. Oh no, hand, that's 10 damage. Okay, so I'm, I'm just waiting for the attack roll to come through. Ah, nine. That's not gonna hit. <laughs> ah, okay. No, that's alright. Yeah, so uh, uh, the nine misses, I'm afraid. That's my turn then. Uh, okay, who's next? Next is Jake. Okay, two things. Let me do it first. Um, I'm actually gonna shout out to everyone around saying. These are trees, there's gotta be a root to, to them all. Try to find mm -hmm. that and maybe it'll make them all go away. And uh, I don't and know, I the, just uh, burned one. I don't know, I just burned one. It doesn't seem like it affected any of the others. Well, in any case, we need to burn the right one. So I'm gonna take the spiritual weapon, I'm gonna take it over here and smack this guy. Uh, okay, yeah, so you can move it 15 feet. So yeah, that should be fun. Twenty three to hit. Uh twenty three is a hit. And my J. Then from uh, action, I'm gonna take that step. Sorry? I'm gonna take my use my action take my um you know staff of the python. I'm gonna take some steps over here and just you know, as the kids like to say yeet the staff at this guy right here and say crush and activate my staff of the python. No worries. Uh, are you able to drag the token on? Uh, ooh, let me take a look. Let's see. Yes, giant python. And there it is. Boom. Uh, okay. And d does the python go on your turn or does it have its own initiative? It goes after me. We discussed before. It goes after I do. That's fine. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, can you roll for the python? Pun? You said roll for the python? Oh, uh, if the python's making an attack, then yes, please. Okay. It's gonna actually gonna go and try to wrap this thing up, so... Is it 12? Yeah, so it's it's not able to, uh, to penetrate the bark, I'm afraid. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, uh, both our turns. Okay. Who's next? Next is Christina. 
I'll get to the farm and I'm gonna use burning hands on it. Uh okay noise. So that's a fifteen foot cone, so yeah, yeah that you'd be fine there. Uh, oh, sorry, that's a deck save, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay, so it gets... I think that's a 12 to save. Sorry, a 10 to save. There we go. That fails. Yeah. How uh, much damage? 11 fire damage. It will take 22. <laughs> uh, and will uh, be consumed in flame. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do here? Uh, that's very good. Uh, okay, who's next? Next are the blue trees. Okay, the blue trees. Um, so we've got this one. Well, do, do this one here first. Who does this one want to hit? Okay. So uh, Dice decided gonna lurch forward. And then try and smack Jake. That's going to be a 24 to hit. Uh, for 14 bludgeoning damage. Uh, and then this one's going to make... Uh, going to go through the same decision process. And swipe at, uh, at Diane. That was going to be a 17 to hit. Does a 17 hit, Diane? <laughs> Hello? Uh, does a 17 hit? Tonga? Sorry? Uh, does a 17 hit? Uh, yes, it does. Ah, okay, that's fine. That'll be 15 bludgeoning damage, and that will be both blues. Um, I have a defense against bludgeoning. Uh, okay. Well, what's the defense? Oh, I see. Um, you have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks not made with silver weapons. So, yeah, so you'll only take seven. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, no worries. Uh, right, so that's Blue's go. Who's next? Next up is Asishless. Uh, okay. Um, it's gonna be... on the blue tree that's obviously there, still standing. So, a hex is a bonus action first. That's fine. Keep that roll. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, what ability score is being targeted? Oh, oh, with the hex. Um, I don't think it really matters on these things, does it? It's uh, probably best to target dex. Why not? Uh, okay, no, that's fine. Oh, it's just in case like someone tries to grapple it or something. Yeah, yeah. I'll target dex. Grapple a tree. <laughs> yeah. Well, well only a gargant. Only a only a large or larger creature, like say a big a big snake, could do it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, and yeah, then one of those. All right. Two okay, Eldritch Blasts. Go for it. Ouch. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. Oh, I've read those miss. Yeah. That's me done. <laughs> no worries. Who's next? Next up is Red. Well, okay, it says. Uh, okay, one red left. Going to shoot it down uh, as, as the closest target. So that's going to be 16 to hit. Uh, does a 16 hit? Uh, does a 16 hit? Uh, 16, no. Uh, okay, 16 misses. Right, uh, okay, so uh, 16 misses, that's going to be Red's go. 
Uh, who's next? Mine. Doing the same thing. Chromatic orb on the bottom blue tree. Go for it. For it. Uh, okay. That's gonna be 49, 80, 96 damage. Oh, 98 wow. damage. Uh, yeah, so that, uh, that tree is going up in flames. Yeah. Uh, and you might want to note that down as probably the, uh, the, the most damage from a single turn. Hmm. Ah, that's very uh, nice. You uh, took my advice, come here, you did some magic. Well done. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do? That will probably be all. <laughs> A pretty big uh, turn. That's uh, alright, who's next? Next up, we are back to Diane. Check this tree with my great sword. That's all right. Destroy. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, okay, 10 slashing damage all going through. Is there anything else you'd like uh, to do? No, that would be my turn. Uh, okay, who's next? Jake. Jake. Okay, while well, I'm standing here, I'm actually going to use my bonus action to shift. And it's actually going to give me six temporary hit points. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can't be surprised. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I'm actually gonna just um, point my hand at. Well, actually, I got a question. Which, was, which is working worse, this tree or this uh, scumbag right here? Um. So the little scumbag isn't damaged, but you also know, you know, just from experience, uh, that these things have the resilience of tissue paper. Right, um, I'm gonna aim at that guy right there, and I'm actually gonna. Um, actually, no, I'm actually gonna aim at the tree here, and I'm gonna cast Guiding Bolt. Ah, uh, go for it. Thirteen. Ah, uh, meets it, beats it. Twelve damage. 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 And next attack has advantage on it. Uh, okay, I'll put a little note. But uh, yeah, is there anything I should like to do? Uh, yes, I'm gonna pull a um, I'm gonna pull a Zoidberg, and I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> yeah, you're 15 feet from the tree, so no problem there. Right. And then um, the snake here is gonna actually uh, try and attack me again. Advantage With advantage, it's, it's shiny. And yes, it's going to try and constrict it. Absolutely fine. In fact, I think the tree, I think the snake should actually be a bit bigger. I mean, yeah. yeah actually, I gotta make one more attack on this thing. Cause, uh, uh, yeah, it should be with advantage. Ah, uh, okay, so it's a 16 will hit. Get out of the way, get out of the way. I'm sorry, I see my screen is acting up. No worries, uh, I'll, I'll use the uh, the roll damage, because I think that'll oh, be... Oh, it's got to make a DC 16 uh, escape uh, grapple check, I believe. Um, it's going to it didn't take... Or, I mean, it's currently restrains, and it's the option of doing that on its turn. Oh, in that case, great. And uh, oh, so in that case, I'll just I'll just hurt it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, uh, no worries. Um, is there anything else the snake wants to do? Ah, oh, okay, no worries. Right, I'll uh, I'll put that through instead. Okay. Yes, that's put through. Uh, is um okay. Who's next? Next up is Dust Three. Uh, okay, so it's the trees go. Um, so the, uh, the tree is restrained and is going to try and get out using its strength. Okay, that's going to be a 21. So it's used its action to escape the snake's coil, to, to, you know, to force the snake off. Um, but that is going to be the tree's go. Who's next? Next up is the snake. Assishless. <laughs> now I'm, you're gonna get us cancelled! <laughs> Not if I do it first. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Dominic, behave! I'm, I'm behaving. <laughs> It doesn't look like it! I've not said anything I don't particularly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so same as before, so uh, my hex still stands, so it is just going to be two Eldritch Blasts on the big blue tree. Go for it. And that's a crit. Ah, uh, it's a crit. Good, because the next one missed. Yeah. Uh, so... 13. Uh, do you want me to roll again for Hex? You'll have to because it's crit. So it's 2d6. 2d6, excellent. For an extra 9. So 13 add 9 is 22. Uh, okay, put that through. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Oh, is it not dead yet? No, unfortunately, there isn't anything else I can do. No worries. That's it. That's me done. Next up is Red. Uh, Red's gonna shoot at uh, a Dan. That's gonna be a crit. Ooh. So that's gonna be uh, 18 piercing damage, which a Dan can halve to 9. And that's gonna be Red's go. Alright. Then me. Walking up one more orb. <laughs> go for it. Uh, it's going to be a hit for 48 points of fire damage. Punch a hole straight through his <laughs> chest. Oh, sorry, was that was, sorry, was that on red or blue? Red. My, my mistake. Uh, right, uh, but yes, that will be just as lethal. Punch a hole through his chest. Absolutely. <laughs> Is there anything I should like to do? No, Diane, finish the stupid tree. <laughs> this is my greatest one. Uh, it's a hit. Fourteen slashing damage, all going through, and with that, the tree is felled. I mean, firewood. <laughs> and I think uh, that would be, and I think that would be a, a good place to, um, you, you know, to to end here, where uh, yeah, in pursuit of uh, of a ghost, mm. uh, you know, the uh, the woods have struck. I'd just like to stand here with a, an arm across Khmer and say I'd just like to point out how utterly amazing my decision was to ask Khmer to come along with us today. Very true. <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. I was in the middle of my experiments. I was trying to fix this situation. But no, you gotta pull me away to some gallivant through the woods. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? I was making progress. You know what? I've got a plan. I'm going to need your help with something, snake boy. Absolutely. I'm more than willing to um, assist. assist. I think I've got this teleportation <laughs> circle down. See, now I'm going to need you to step in there so I can send you through to Stella. Who's Stella? Is she nice? <laughs> <laughs> you <have> to save? <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, don't don't worry about the fact that I have the magic circle wrong on purpose. Don't worry, <laughs> it'll all be fine. <laughs> to the credits, Jack, I've got a raid set up. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for coming and thanks for for you, the audience, home for watching. Uh, this has been Fate of the Dice's Curse of Strahd. Uh, the maps have been from DM Andy, um, with uh, assets by Tom Cartus. Uh, the Valaki map and the Barovia map have been from uh, Wizards of the Coast. Uh, the tokens from Wizards of the Coast as well. And the music has been from Serpent Sound Studios. We hope you had a good one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's go. That was fun. Thank <laughs> you.